Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in the today's class, we are going to see how to set up coordinates inside Synthize and also we will see scene scaling inside Synthize. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside Synthize. So first we have to import our sort. So just we have to click on file, then new and just select your sort. So this is a sort here. So just we have to set the starting frame here. Now just we have to click on open. Then after this, just we have to select your required frame rate here. Now just we have to click on OK. So after importing your sort, just we have to track over this sort. So inside this summary tab, just we have to click on this big auto button. So this will automatically track your sort and also this will solve your camera. So now this is our camera solve here. And now we are inside this solver tab here. And left side, this is our camera solve error, which is 0 0.33 here. So now after this, just I am going to little bit improve my camera solve. So we have to click on track, then clean up trackers and just we have to click on fix. Then inside this automatic drop down, just we have to select this refine. Then we have to click on go. So now this is our improved camera solve here. Now just we have to play and just we have to check. Just we can play and just we can check. Now after this just we have to click on these 3D tabs. So now we are inside the 3D tabs and this is our camera view, this is our front view, this is your top view and this is our left view here. So just you can see all these things here. Then after this, just I am going to see how to set up our coordinate system and how to orient our scene inside Synthize. So for this, first we have to click on this coordinates. So when you will click on this coordinates, so this will automatically switch this layout into this constraint points here and just I am getting some these constraints point here. So Synthize sometimes by default automatically defines some points as a ground plane here. So you can see inside this camera view. So Synthize is just defining these points as a ground plane here. So just you can see this one here. So first we have to unconstrain all these points here. Then manually we will define our coordinate systems here. So simply just we have to, to press control A then right click on this point then go to this coordinates and just we have to unconstrain these points here. Now just I am not getting any points here. So this is our first step. Now just manually just I am going to define our coordinates points. So for this again if you will click on the 3D tab so just we can check all these things here. So first just I am going to define our ground plan and also origin. So now maybe just I want to define this point as a origin here this one here. So for this simply just we have to click on these coordinates then inside the left side you will get all these coordinate systems here so first you will get these three options here means just we have to, to select three points on our ground for defining our ground plane. So just click on the three. So first we have to select scene origin or origin point so this is our origin point so just you can select this one here then second thing this will show you here this left right. So just we have to select left right points or again if you will click on this one so this will show you here this fb means forward backward point again if you will click so this will show you here this pl means just create a plane now again just we have to click on this one here so again you will get this three here now just click here press s and just again just select your origin point so this is our origin point here then you can see this left right point so just i am going to select this one here now this is showing PL means just we have to select third point and just we have to define our plane. So just select this one here. So now it's saying apply coordinate system. Change it to refine mode if necessary. So just we have to click on yes. So now here just I have defined over this ground plane here. Then after this again we have to click on these 3D tabs and just we have to play and just we have to check all these things here. So now if you will check inside these actually three view here so inside this front view if you will select this actually this origin so now this is, is showing this point as a origin point here so just you can see this one here so this will automatically set up your scene here so just you can see all these things here so like this just you can define your coordinate system and just you can orient your scene and also just you can define your origin points here now if you will select these three points now this is a little bit in different color means 
this part just I have defined as a ground plane here. Now just we can play and just we can check all these things here. Now just you can see these things here. So like this just you can define your coordinates inside synthize. Now after this just I am going to see how we can scale our scene. So first till here just save our project. 0 1 and just we have to click on save. Even if you want you can just click on this layout and just you can select this quad perspective. Then inside this perspective you just lock camera so you will also get this grid here. So just you can see all these things here. Then again just we have to select this quad view here. So now after this just I am going to see how we can scale our scene. So for this first we have to create a 6 bit character or 3D object here. So now we are inside the 3D tab. Then inside this 3D object list just we have to select this earth links. And just we have to create a 6 feet here. So just simply just we have to click here and just we can make it height around 6 feet. So 180 centimeters. Just we have to define this one here. So inside the left side just you can see. So here just I have defined this character height which is 180 centimeters here. So now inside this camera view if you will see. So this character is looking very big here because our scene is very small. So just we have to adjust our scene scale. So inside synthize for scene scaling there are actually multiple options here. So first if you have a set information like if you have distance between a two points then you can define as a distance constraint and just you can scale your scene. Second thing manually just you can scale your scene. So now first just I am going to see how we can define our distance constraint inside synthize. So now remember this one because this is just an unknown sort. So just I am going to assuming distance between two points here. So first just untick this one here otherwise this will just create another character here. So now just I am going to assume maybe distance between these two points as you can assume. Or just I am going to maybe assume these two point distance here. So first just hide this character. So just select this earthling from this list whatever just we have created. Then you can hide this one here. So maybe just I am going to assume. So maybe these two points just I am going to select here. And just I am going to assume distance between these two point here. So remember this one if you have a proper set information. Then properly just you can scale your scene. But here just only just I am going to assume distance here. Because this is just a garage here. So till here to here. So maybe this will be around 8 to 10 feet here. Okay. So just you can check this one here. So maybe if you will assume distance between these two pointers. So maybe this will be around maybe 8 to 10 feet. Okay. So now just I am going to define distance constraint value here. So simply for this first we have to select first point so maybe just select this one here again first i am going to unhide our character so usually just we can see our scene scale so just select this character and just unhide this one so now just you can see so just i am going to define distance between these two points here so for defining your distance constraint just you have to select first point then hold alt and just select second point so hold alt and just select second point. So you will get this line. This is just defining as a distance constraint here. Then we have to click on these coordinates. Now in left side we will get the distance options here. So simply just we have to type it value here. So just I am assuming around 8 to 10 feet here. So just I am going to define this value in centimeters. So maybe around 3 10 centimeters here. Then after this we have to solve our camera. So then go to this solver and just we have to solve over this camera. So now here you will see. So just type scale over C. Now just you can see this character here. So still this character actually 6 feet character. So if you want to check then again go to this 3D type. So now if you will select this character. So you can see still this is actually 6 feet character. So now here just type scale over C. Then after this we have to also again go to these coordinates and just we have to check this value here which is error value. Now if you will select the D, D means distance constraint. So just I am getting little bit error here. So why just I am getting this one here because 
here i have also defined our coordinates before scaling this scene so while you are going to define your coordinates so this will by default define a distance constraint automatically for your second points here so because for coordinates just i have defined this is actually first point which will be our origin so inside the left side you will see this value 0 0 here now if you will select this second point so now just i am getting some value here which you just you can see this one here so that's why just why i am getting this little bit error here so for this what we have to do so nothing just you have to do simply just you have to select this second point then you will see this log point here then we have to select this on x axis only now just we have to select this one here or x axis only then again we have to solve our camera remember this one here now again just come inside the solver tab then we can click on this go here now just you can see here so now here again if you will click on this coordinates so now you will see all the 0 0 value here so now just properly just type scale of a scene according to these two point distance here so if you have proper information then properly just you can scale your scene so now just i am going to test our scene here so again come inside this 3d view just i am going to test our scene so just uh, i am going to play this character maybe at this position here so just we can check uh, around this distance here so just select this character so this one here and just we can move so just take this move tool and just pick this character and just we can place maybe at this point where is your garage point here so just we can move this one here so now through this camera view if you will see so i think this is correct because i think if you will assume this is actually 10 10 feet height this garage so now this is six feet correct so now i think this is looking good here so properly just type scale of a scene using this distance constraints here okay still if you want to improve your scene scale then again go to this coordinate then you can select this d here and just you can define your proper value then again you can solve your camera so like this simply just you can define your distance constraint and just you can adjust your scene scale inside synthize now finally just i am going to export this camera track for maya and just i am going to test over this scene inside maya so now first just uh, play inside this synthize so as we can check all these things here now this is looking good here now just i am going to export this camera track for maya and if we will test this scene scale inside maya so simply first area just save as our project so now for exporting this camera for maya simply just we have to click on file then we have to click on export and go to this folder and just select this maya original scene and just select your folder so inside this export folder just uh, save this ma file then starting frame then x y g now we have to press ok now come inside maya so now we are inside Maya and just we have to test our scene. So just we have to click on file, open scene and just select your file. So inside this export folder, this is our file. Just we have to open, don't save. So now here I just type imported over this camera track. Then click on this panels and just select this camera. So now just you can see things here. Now open this main scene group and just select the locator group. Assign into display layer and just change this color. So easily just we can see. And also if one you can adjust your locator size so just we have to select individuals locator and just we can adjust this size now just you can see all these locators here now this is looking good here now finally just i'm going to create a maya six feet character and just i'm going to check so now just click here this character option import human ik examples so now just you can see this character here so just uh, open this character group delete this one here so now just you can see this one here. so again just same character six feet character so remember this one this is actually around six feet character inside maya so now just i'm going to place it here just only for testing purpose so just select this one now press w now v and just we can place at this point here now if we will see this one here so now this is just looking good here now just you can see this is again six feet characters now this is properly i think looking this one here even still if there is any requirement then you can also adjust your scene scale inside maya 
even from synthase you can properly scale your scene then you can export for maya so now i think this is looking good here and remaining things that you can do according to requirements yes now again come inside synthase so guys like this simply just you can scale your scene using distance constraint so guys till here i've completed about this class so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching